Our cars always trying to tell us when something was wrong through the warning lights. So let's explore some of the most common dashboard warning lights and what each one means. Before moving further, if you not watched first part of dashboard warning lights, I am giving link in i button also in comment section. So do check out that video also. Let's see first warning light which is battery warning light. This is also known as battery charge light or battery charging system light. This warning light comes on when you are driving it indicates that the car charging system is short of a power or is not charging properly. The charging system warning light should appear for few seconds when you start the car. But if the battery light glows continuously while driving the vehicle, that indicates it is a problem. You may also notice your clock light fading or your headlight dimming or in some cases your car may not start at all. Let's see some reasons behind battery warning light. Battery warning light could turn because a bad or dead battery, a faulty alternator, a wiring issue bad electrical connection or damaged cabling. One major issue could be that car's charging system is short of power or is not charging properly. Battery is no longer being charged by an alternator and it's running only on its charge available which will eventually runs out. What are some common checks we should follow? First, you need to check and clean any rust and then tightens any loose battery cables. Even after, if car's battery warning light is still on, it could be mechanical issue such as a problem with alternator or voltage regulator or it could be something settled such as faulty wiring. What do you think? Can I still drive with my battery warning light on? Your car will run as normal until the battery is dead. But once it is drained, nothing in your car will work. So get to garage quickly. Now what we can do in this case? If you do run out of charge, you can try to jump start or call for recovery if you have breakdown. If battery is damaged, replace with new one. Do not wait too long. Get it checked in garage. Next warning light is oil pressure warning light. This is also known as low engine oil or low oil pressure light. What is this light means? This old fashioned oil can symbol indicates that there is an issue with your car's oil pressure system. Either you are running low on oil or your oil pump isn't circulating enough fluid to properly lubricate the surface inside your engine. The oil warning light comes on when either the oil temperature gets too high or the oil level or pressure is too low. If the oil is not lubricating the engine effectively, it could lead to expensive or even irreparable engine damage. So it's important to act quickly. Pull over the car as quickly and safely as possible and check the oil levels. Let's see some common reasons for this warning light to occur. Leak in engine oil or worn parts or broken oil pump or bad oil pressure sensor or faulty wiring. Let's see what we can do if this warning light came. Checking the engine oil level is straightforward. Just check your car service manual and you will find instructions there on how to do it properly. Open the car's hood and find the dipstick with the engine off. Pull the dipstick out from the engine and wipe any oil off its end. And then insert the dipstick back into the tube and push it back. The dipstick shows the oil is low and needs to be topped off. If it has enough oil but engine is running noisy, it might be an issue with oil pump, clogged oil filter or an internal oil leak. 
now if the oil level is okay and the engine is running smoothly your oil pressure sensor may be malfunctioning that means it may be false alarm caused by bad oil pressure sensor now question is can i still drive with oil pressure warning lamp is on if the light comes back on again after oil topping up you should get it checked out at a garage to fix the underlying problem now let's learn about brake warning light this is also known as brake system warning light parking brake warning light or brake fluid warning light if you see this symbol on your dashboard or the word brake in a red then either parking brake is engaged or there is a problem with your braking system what are some common reasons for brake warning light A common mistake occurs when driver pulls away with the parking brake engaged causing this warning light. Next is worn brake pads, low brake fluids or a problem with anti-lock braking system are some of the common causes. If this red light remains on after you fully release the parking brake or comes on when you are driving it may indicate that brake fluid level is low. If the ABS warning light also illuminate this signals that braking system has malfunctioned and your brakes may not work properly in this case the electronic brake force distribution EBD warning light may also be illuminate now let's see what we can do if brake warning light came it is a reminder that you should disengage before attempting to drive If the light continuously on even after disengaging the handbrake that means the hydraulic pressure have been lost in one side of brake system or fluid levels in master cylinders is dangerously low due to a leak somewhere in a brake system if the brake warning light comes on when you are in traffic or driving do not panic your vehicle had more than one hydraulic braking system So stop your vehicle completely and have your vehicle towed to your home or to trusted mechanic to inspect. Now can I still drive with brake warning lamp is on? Brakes are the most important safety features on your vehicle so you should not drive your car if your brakes are not working properly. So that's all in this video. Keep watching us for new warning lights in next video. Thanks for watching.